if you compare the two rulers below, the standard ruler is one that's not base 10. This ruler right here, because it has 10 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, is a metric ruler and measures to centimeters. Each tick mark represents one millimeter. The ruler on top is a standard ruler. It measures in inches. There happens to be 16 tick marks between each whole unit. I've selected the standard ruler to measure these two lines. As I line up my standard ruler at the zero point, my first step is to figure out how many whole units or whole inches this purple line represents. It's one and a fraction of an inch. If you're measuring to the nearest eighth of an inch, the easiest thing to do is count the number of tick marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when you realize this ruler is base 16, that would be eight sixteenths. So this line measures one and eight sixteenths of an inch. But if you're trying to make that into eighths of an inch, the easiest thing to do is simplify eight sixteenths. So I have one whole inch, simplifying eight sixteenths down to eighths. Sixteen turns into an eight, and the four, eight turns into a four. That would be one and four eighths of an inch. We'll continue with the second line below. As we line up a ruler, the second line has one, two whole inches, and then the number of fractions past that, fractions of an inch, one, two, three, four sixteenths. Two and four sixteenths is how long this blue line represents. If we wanted to turn four sixteenths into eighths, we'd have to simplify. Sixteen turns into eight by dividing by two. Four turns into two. Two and two eighths of an inch. Want to test yourself? Check out the video, 1 8 inch self-test.